I hope you appreciate the hazardous nature of bringing you this edition of Just Off The Highway. I am sitting entirely at my own risk in a field of cosmos flowers on a perfectly peaceful autumn day. And I am in very real danger because I'm surrounded by pollen. All it takes is one innocent hay fever sneeze and strangers will materialize from far away and haul my ass straight to quarantine. <laughs> ah well, if we ever actually do get a vaccine, it's going to have to arm wrestle the antihistamines for dominion over my body. In the meantime, it's close to Easter on the high felt, and that means cosmos in bloom by the thousands. Fields, herds, <laughs> flocks of them. The collective noun for this stuff should be a casual or a careless of cosmos. It's just a relaxed, chaotic little flower that grows in places that other flowers can't handle. And nobody tends to them, uh, and they just arrive by the grace of Mother Nature. Look alongside roads, tracks, even railway lines, and there you'll find them stretching for hundreds of kilometers. But it's not even an indigenous plant. The history of cosmos in South Africa is darker and sadder. Like so many other things, uh, it's grounded in our human conflict, literally. During the Anglo-Boer War, from 1899 to 1902, hundreds of thousands of horses served and suffered. The Boers were mounted on their small ponies, born and bred in Southern Africa. But British forces, they tended to have imported horses, larger, more impressive to look at, but not as well adapted to the harsh conditions and weighed down with so much more equipment. Boer ponies could live off felt grass, harsh, dry, as hard to swallow as British colonial policy. But the Empire's horses couldn't, so feed had to be imported because there wasn't nearly enough in the whole country. Tons and tons of horse feed were shipped from South America to South Africa, and stowed away inside those bales were cosmos seeds. The feed was transported from ports by rail and road into the interior. And on the way, those bales broke open or were used to supply the animals. And that's why even today, 120 years later, you're most likely to spot cosmos growing wild alongside the railway lines or the roads, those main routes along which the army advanced, marching to Pretoria. Cosmos is so perfectly named. It looks like stars or blessings showered down upon the earth maybe like horses, they're a reminder of the beauty and innocence and peace that gets sacrificed by men hungry for war. 300,000 horses on the British side alone. These days, we break monuments to animals to show how upset we are with other humans. But Cosmos, the, the real legacy of the Boer War horses, flies free in the field. I think maybe that's the way the horses would like it. If you're enjoying Just Off The Highway, give us a like please. And why not share with anyone you know who might be interested in South African stories. If you haven't subscribed yet, do so because it really does help us increase our reach. And remember, the whole of Season 1 is still available on YouTube. Feel free to visit or revisit any of the previous episodes. Give us some feedback. I'd really appreciate it. Till next week. Cheers.